Next, we've got the reassembly of the display. We've got the style channel. We've got the display. And if you recall, we have three points here we have to keep in mind. One, this needs to get mounted right here. This gets placed in here. And then this, which is completely free right now, will get mounted into here. The one that you most are concerned about is the one down here. You need to make sure that it's lifted up, because it makes it easier right now. But you need to make sure it's lifted up, because this has to slide into it and then get pressed down for a firm fitting. So, don't forget, up here at the top, it's a very delicate ribbon cable. If you damage this, you damage your touch screen because it feeds the sensor information off the top of the screen. Also, your microphone You want to try and keep it a little out of the frame because it has a place to fit right up here. So first things first. Gently find a place to rest the display. You might even need a second person or something firm to, to, to be careful of here. It seems like if you rest the corner over here, you can use a finger to help keep the microphone out of the way. It gives you an opportunity to align Connector. There we go. Okay. So we bring it down, got the microphone, and keep that out of the way. It's got a little rubber gasket on it of sorts to help keep it in place. As we Put the display back down. You then have a secondary, remember this one, to go underneath here. Might take a little coercion, coercion, coercion there. Oh, come on, get in a place. Okay. and it's popped right back out. Okay. Once it's in, don't lift up too hard on it. This is just plastic to help protect it. And there's our little use your fingers or so to help keep it up a little higher so you can feed some of the extra Once it's in place, I might need to reposition myself to get a better grip on that. And I think I will. Okay. What well, seemed to work very well for reattaching this underneath was using an ordinary Q-tip to hold it in place while I took my needle nose pliers to 
push down on either side gently until it was in place. And then used uh, another small standard screwdriver to make sure that it was firmly tight. Once that's done, go ahead, take the film connector, repeat the process for up here, and this one, you might be able to use your fingernails, you just might use needle nose pliers. And gently push it into place. There. It's locked in. If you don't loosen those, you, when you go for the disassembly, you're not going to be able to reassemble it because you will have ruined your ribbon cable. We only have three screws to reinstall at this point. Two for the stylus track. and one for right here. There's a notch right here the stylus track must fit into.